subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your wi-fi ptz camera for live view on your smartphone so let's start the video so here i have my wi-fi ptz camera as you can see it's a china brand not hike vision or dawa and here is the box if you are wondering so its model number is pro ht198 but the process is same for majority of the wi-fi ptz cameras so before you begin you are going to need to download and install an application it's free so i'm using ios so i'm going to open the app store if you're android you're going to open your play store and you're going to search for an app called v380 pro i will also put this apps link in the video description as well so you can go there and find this app just by clicking on the link so here it is v380 pro it's searching for it and here is the one v380 pro so i have already downloaded and installed it so once you have downloaded and installed the app now we can first power on our wi-fi ptz camera so before you are going to even set up the ptz camera you need to insert an sd card on it so this particular model supports up to 128 gb of sd card storage you need to check how much your ptz camera supports so here on this particular camera here on the bottom you have this ptz slot uh, the sd card slot as you can see if i remove this here we have our little micro sd card slot so i am going to insert the micro sd card here and you will hear a click sound meaning that the sd card has been placed properly now you can just close this lid for waterproofing different cameras have different places to insert the sd card but the process is same so once done now i'm going to connect my power supply for the cctv camera to the main 220 volts and the other end to the cctv camera here you can see one plug this is the ethernet cable port your reset switch and the power port so i'm going to plug in the power and you have to wait for some time to boot it up so now opening the light so the system is starting you have to wait if it is a ptz camera to complete its rotations after that you can start the setup process on the mobile phone for wireless view or live view systems data completed access point preparing access point ready so it has completed its rotation now we can connect it to our app so i'm just going to put some base minutes so that it can stand so i'll be right back so now you're going to open the v380 pro app that you just installed here it is so first of all you're going to allow it i'm going to allow while using the app again so you need to allow it in order for it to connect to the cctv camera if you decline it then it will it will not work so i'm going to swipe it try now and you're going to agree to the terms and conditions let me just enable disable dark mode so that you can see more clearly and so first of all you're going to create an account so here it says register you're going to press on register and here you're going to select your region enter your email they will send a code to your email so you're going to input here and then you're going to make your account so i'm just going to quickly make my account then and then i'm going to come back so once i have made my account now i'm just simply going to log in to my account for the v30 pro v380 pro app so once logged in you're going to select your region be sure to select the correct region so for my case it's asia 4 your may be different and now here is the app so you can see on the upper right side we have this little plus button we are going to press on it and we are going to press on add cameras 
so this is a Wi-Fi smart camera so you're going to press on this and you're going to before you're going to go to this process you're going to go back and open your Wi-Fi settings either on iOS or Android here you will see the Wi-Fi for that camera so in my case it's here MV something like that so this is actually the Wi-Fi that is giving off by the camera so before you plug in you need to connect your mobile phone after logging into your account to this particular camera's Wi-Fi so now again on the v380 app I am going to press on device and here you're going to enter the device ID so the device ID is basically written on a little sticker on your PTZ Wi-Fi camera you're going to have a small barcode and beneath it it will have your device ID or here you can see the network MV and you can see some digits 48375 uh, 5276 this is the device ID of this particular camera so you can either write it from here only the numbers not writing MV or you can simply uh, look on the sticker on the CCTV camera and you can write it from there as well so I am just going to write it from here uh, I am going to press on confirm and now it's going to try to connect to the CCTV camera again it will work only if you enter the right device ID that is written on your CCTV and you also connect to the same Wi-Fi that is being emitted by the CCTV camera so now you can choose anything uh, for my it's just an office and you're going to press on finish so now it's connecting and if we press on this video icon it should start the live play as well okay it's saying that we need to set a password as well because if we don't uh, uh, set up a password then everyone can view this camera so you're going to press on set password and the username is admin and you're going to enter the password so again this part password is also written on your ptz cctv camera on the small sticker you're going to see it will have a password field so you need to type that password that is written on that ptz camera on this particular field so i'm just going to write it and i'll be back so after typing the password from the ptz camera to the app now i'm going to press on confirm so it will recheck the password whether they match or not so you can see that it has connected successfully and you have little saying lan online oops so if i press on the video playback button it should show the video so it's connecting and you can see the live feed from the camera as it is pointing towards me so here you're seeing the tripod and my hands so it is a ptz camera so i can move it around as well and if you want to go to full screen here you can see the live view of the ptz camera directly on your smartphone so that's it so now in this way you can view the camera locally but if you want to use through a different wi-fi network then it's also very easy you're going to press on settings and here you will go to where it says network on the second here it says wi-fi station mode you're going to press on it you are going to select your Wi-Fi. Uh, it's going to uh, detect any nearby Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect it to my home Wi-Fi network. That here it is PTCL BB. And now I'm going to enter the password for my home Wi-Fi, not of the CCTV camera, but of my home network Wi-Fi. So let me just enter it. After entering, you're going to press on confirm. Wi-Fi connecting. So we got Wi-Fi connection and you can see it's LAN online so let me just change the Wi-Fi from here so as you can see now I'm connected to PTCL BB and I can still access my uh, PTZ Wi-Fi camera because in this way now if you're anywhere on the world you need to have just a Wi-Fi and you can directly live view whatever is happening in front of your PTZ Wi-Fi camera so again if I open V30 Pro and if I try to uh, open the app so it's loading so here you're going to enter the password of your ptz cctv camera again from the one that is written on its body so let me type it again confirm to log in and here you can see we can see the live feed from our cctv camera while using our home network so now you can view your cctv camera globally because you can connect to any Wi-Fi network and from any part of the world and you can see what is happening in front of your PTZ camera and you can control it as well there are different options so guys in this way 
you can connect your Wi-Fi PTZ camera for live view on your smartphone so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so if you have any kind of questions regarding this video again write them in the comment section because i face a lot of problems when i was connecting it that's the reason why i made this video so that you can get connected it quite easily other than that thank you for watching and stay safe